us today. I I was listening to Colin Noir on Joe Rogan's podcast. I think it was episode number 2094. Um, really good episode. Um, you know, towards the end, after talking about gun rights and and how how insane it is that people you know these states you know Massachusetts is one of them but I know like California is as far as I know I think it's the most extreme state maybe New York is up there with it as far as um, like your license to carry laws and restrictions and 10 round magazine restrictions and uh, it just blows my mind because they're you have, you have these people, you know, they and they highlight this on the uh, podcast, but they, they have you have these people making these laws, these regulations that make absolutely no sense um, when applied into real life. You know, like all the bans and everything to do with AR-15s, and you have these people that these politicians talk about AR-15s like they're, you know shooting cannons you know like they'll they'll talk about oh if you, you can, if you use it to go hunting you can blow up a deer and all this stuff and it's an extremely small round it's like you know my you go hunting with a 22 is not not a whole lot of difference in the the size of the round so you know i guess the the main point is you have people that are making rules and regulations that make absolutely no sense to your legal gun owners and it just makes it harder for people to protect themselves unfortunately um, that live in these high crime areas you know if you go out to, to Chicago for example which there's a lot of gang violence in Chicago if you're just a regular citizen you know you don't have like you have to one be able to just get a firearm I'm sure the background checks and all that probably a process there like it is in Massachusetts um, you have all your, your restrictions, 10 round magazines and all that. Uh, and also too, if you do find yourself in, in a sticky situation, all the, like all the stress of the situation, beyond just the fact that somebody is either attacking you or robbing you, all the stress of the situation is basically on you. Cause if you make one false move, if you, if they turn their back and I'm, I'm not a lawyer or anything, but like if they, they come at you with a gun and they see or a knife and they see you pull out a gun they turn around to go run or something or if they just happen to turn their shoulder and you shoot them and you know maybe they can argue that the guy was running away and like there's a whole lot of it's just a lot to it where if you it's bad enough you're in that situation you just want to find peace and resolve the situation and take care of the threat and uh, it's just it's just awful what what the politicians are doing to, to law-abiding citizens in this country at this point.